Carnival Forense has been christened in California. Royal Caribbean has partnered with Hard Rock to give some exclusive gaming perks. And Royal Caribbean says, are we running out of rooms in 2024 on our cruise ships? Also, Holland America has decided to institute Dutch Day over all their ships. And Princess Cruise Lines is dealing with an outbreak of 100 people on board one of their ships. We've got a lot of cruise news to talk about. Let's swan dive right into it. Hello everyone, it's Cynthia, your host. Welcome back to today's show. We've got a lot of cruise news stories to talk about, and I guess it's fitting to end the week with so much news, as today is Friday, February 26th. So let's take it on into the weekend with these five cruise news stories. We're gonna start with Carnival Cruise Lines. We're talking about the Carnival Forense. If you remember, this was originally built in 2020 for Costa Cruise Line. We all know what happened in 2020, and uh, after that long period of time and the shutdown, the Costa Forense joined the Carnival fleet back in February of 2024. But since this time, it's been under a 49-day dry dock because they needed to change that Costa brand ship into a Carnival brand ship, you know, the fun ships. So they themed it fun Italian style. Well. Carnival Forense has made her way over to California to begin her cruising season with lots of pomp and circumstance. And also the godfather, Jonathan Bennett, christened the ship. Here's some more information. The ship features new concepts with a slight Italian twist. There is a specialty restaurant called Il Viaggio. I hope I said that right, which means the voyage. This will serve up classic Italian fares. And we can't forget about this top deck street party that they have called Festa Italiana. The Firenze is able to carry 5,000 passengers. And with the addition of the Firenze to the Carnival Cruise Line brand, it brings significant expansion. As Carnival Cruise Line has added five new ships to its fleet just in the past 18 months. During this naming ceremony, actor Jonathan Bennett, who is the godfather of the Carnival Forense, christened the ship. And in attendance, well, there were some of the usual bigwigs, Christine Duffy, Carnival president, as well as the captain of the ship, Enzo Palamba. There were top-notch musical performances, as well as a blessing given on the ship by a Catholic priest. The Forense will join the panorama and the Carnival Radiance in Long Beach doing year-round sailings. And the Firenze will sail different length itineraries. Are you planning on going on the Firenze? Do you have a cruise booked already? Let us know about it in the comments below. The sickness bug, it struck again. We're talking about that nasty norovirus, which is a gastrointestinal illness. And we've discussed it before in other cruise stories that can strike on board cruise ships. Its latest victim is the beautiful gym class Sapphire Princess. The Sapphire Princess is embarking right now and in the middle of a 32 day voyage headed through the South Pacific and Hawaiian islands on an incredible cruise itinerary. It left Los Angeles on April 5th, but as of April 25th, 94 passengers and 20 crew have come down with this illness. Center for Disease Control is monitoring this and it actually states that this is pretty low numbers. The Sapphire Princess currently has 2,532 guests on board, meaning that the passengers who are ill account for 3.71% of the passengers and the crew members who are ill account for 2% of the crew. Even though this is a relatively low number of people infected by this, no one wants to go through getting norovirus. There is a Vessel Sanitation Program, or VSP, and this is operated by the CDC. This allows medical experts to monitor any and all outbreaks on board ships and then help to mitigate that situation. This outbreak on the Sapphire Princess, it accounts for the sixth outbreak of 2024. There were 14 outbreaks in 2023, and four outbreaks in 2022. There are enhanced safety measures and protocols 
on board the ship and the sick passengers and crew are relegated to their cabins as well as they've been asking passengers to make sure they're doing the minimal things like washing your hands, using sanitizers, covering your mouth if you have to cough or sneeze, you know, the things that we should be doing anyway. The biggest symptoms, of course, of norovirus are diarrhea and vomiting. The good news, if we can find some out of this, is that usually in two to three days, this disease clears up all on its own. The Sapphire Princess still has some really incredible places to visit before the cruise ends on May 7th. The ship has already sailed to Honolulu, Hawaii, Kahului, Hawaii, Pago Pago, and Fiji. And the ship will still head to Papati, Tahiti. Sorry to hear about this. That's really a bummer when you're on a cruise. We have to make sure that we're staying vigilant on our cruise and doing those things that we know to do, such as washing our hands frequently, not touching a whole bunch of surfaces, covering your mouth, you know, those kind of things to keep yourself and your group safe. Have any of you ever had the unfortunate occurrence of getting sick on board your cruise? And how did you handle it? Let us know in the comments below. Are you a gambler? Do you enjoy cruising either Royal Caribbean or Celebrity? If so, I think you're really going to like this next story. Hard Rock International has partnered with Royal Caribbean and Celebrity to offer some benefits and rewards to their members. If you are a Unity by Hard Rock loyalty member, you will now be able to receive benefits and perks on Celebrity and Royal Caribbean cruises. And you can also qualify for invitation only cruise giveaways. If you are one of those top tier loyalty members, you will be able to receive an annual free cruise. And this will be aboard, of course, specific uh, ships and specific itineraries. This benefit program will also work just the opposite way. Members of Royal Caribbean's Club Royale and Celebrity's Blue Chip program can also receive some discounts and perks at Hard Rock casinos. With those top tier loyalty members, eligible to receive an annual complimentary trip to a Hard Rock casino. Jeff Hook, who is the Executive Vice President and Chief Marketing Officer of Seminole Hard Rock Support Services, stated that this partnership, it was a no-brainer. It completely made sense. Their research has showed that over 60% of their customers are likely to cruise in the next two years. And the preferred two cruise lines were Royal Caribbean and Celebrity. Jeff Hook went on to say, a lot of their business is there in Florida, so it just makes sense to attract those customers who have discretionary funds, who enjoy cruising, and sometimes they're retired, and so they have the time to do it as well. This cruise partnership is the first for Hard Rock, but it is not the first in the industry, as Norwegian Cruise Line is the official cruise partner of the Caesar Rewards Program. Are you a gambler? Do you have some of these rewards programs? Make sure when you book your next Royal Caribbean or Celebrity Cruise, you talk to your travel advisor to see if you are eligible for some of these benefits and extras. Our next cruise story is also to do with Royal Caribbean and their unique position that they're in right now of possibly running out of cruise rooms for travelers in 2024. I guess I should say cruise cabins. Is this possible? It seems like it's very possible. Royal Caribbean's group CEO stated, after just 116 days into 2024, we only have about 12% of load factor left for the year. So of course we need to jump into this and dissect it. Uh, what is load factor and what is he talking about? All right, I did my research and this is the information that I wanna share. The load factor of a ship, how many they can load onto the ship, it's usually not something that stops at 100%. And that's because cruise lines always make up their numbers based on double occupancy. Well, we all know that there are many different types of cruise cabins that can actually uh, hold more than two people. There's quads and there's triples. And of course, there's some suites that even can have five or six passengers in there. So the load factor for a cruise ship can be anywhere between 100, 105, 108%. Royal Caribbean has over 98,000 beds across 27 different cruise ships. 
Royal Caribbean has had an exceptional year in 2024. During that conference call, the actual words that the CEO and persons there at Royal use was extraordinary and exceptional. And it has a lot to do with the demand for their super large new Icon class ships. And we know we've seen all of the news about the Icon of the Seas. And now we have the upcoming Utopia of the Seas and Star of the Seas. And these ships are selling out. It was stated during this call that they are getting close to now starting to book way more for 2025 than they can and that they are for 2024. Royal Caribbean announced that their Q1 revenue was up 29% year over year and it's reached $3.73 billion just in the first few months of 2024. Bookings in 2024 were their outpacing last year even though there's less inventory currently available. This is really good for Royal Caribbean and all of us who have Royal Caribbean stocks. And I'm not even sure why I said us because we don't have Royal Caribbean stocks, but this is good news for the business. I have a question though, because of what I'm hearing and reading here, how far in advance do you book your cruises? Royal Caribbean is stating that the majority of people, you know, book their cruises, you know, six months or more out. But there are, of course, people who wait to try to get those great last minute deals. And as a travel advisor, I'm letting you know that those are getting to be much more fewer and far between. But how far in advance do you book your cruise? Um, I'm very interested to know. Let us know in the comments. Are you surprised by this information for Royal Caribbean? Do you think they'll sell out and not have any more 2024 availability for people who would like to book a 2024 cruise? And are you still waiting to book your 2024 Royal Caribbean cruise? Let us know in the comments below. We've got one more cruise news story to share and it's quite festive. But before I do, I'm taking this opportunity to invite you to subscribe to the channel. We are boldly going forward, seeking 10,000 subscribers before the middle of July. Also, give us a like on the videos and Ring that notification bell so that you will be notified when we produce our newest and next video. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's information in the description below about our Patreon and our memberships. Okay, on with the show. Do you like to party? Well, the biggest party of the year is coming on April 27th to the Netherlands. It's called King's Day or Koningsdag. At this party, you can expect to see markets and festivals, parades, and people celebrating in the trademark color of orange. Holland America has always had a deep connection to the Netherlands and their Dutch roots, so much so that the ships were usually christened in the very beginning by the Dutch royal family. Since there is this big connection to their heritage and the biggest celebration day is coming to the Netherlands, Holland America has introduced Dutch days. This will be a day where the cruise line will celebrate its Dutch heritage. This will feature on cruises that are seven days or longer across the entire fleet and they're going to feature everything from a Dutch deck party to Dutch culinary highlights. This celebration is going to be in partnership with Dalemans Stroop Waffles. How's my Dutch? Don't answer that. This is a cookie made with a pair of thin waffles and they're sandwiched together with like a sugary syrup that's called Stroop. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever had one of these cookies? Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Guests will receive some of these mini Stroop waffles on their pillows at night, but during the day, you can get a serving of, of that at the Crow's Nest Cafe. And this will be served with butter and powdered sugar. I might not be able to pronounce it, but it sounds delicious. In the evening, guests can look forward to a very special Dutch dinner. This will include that, which is pea soup, and this, which is brisket. And then you can finish it off with a traditional that, which is a puff pastry filled with whipped cream and covered with chocolate. Oh, man, I'm getting hungry. And we cannot forget to mention the fabulous orange party. This is the opportunity for guests to dress up in their best orange costumes and hats and dance the night away to the festive music and entertainment. So I wanted to know why orange? The Dutch royal family has the name Van Orange Nassau. 
Orange being the Dutch translation of the word orange. This sounds like a lot of fun and the food sounds like a delicious treat. Have any of you ever heard of any of these foods that I probably murdered the name? Or what are your thoughts about the Dutch day? That does it for today's cruise news show. Thank you so much for staying to the end and enjoying it with me today. I hope you enjoy it. To all of our wonderful subscribers, once again, I'm letting you know I thank you and appreciate you so much. We can't do this without you. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we will catch you at the next adventure.